In this video I'd like to comment on the information package for the 2019 05 SN475 lecture videos. So this is the uh, website for the C++ lecture slides of mine and there's a link from here to the lecture video information package. So I'm just going to download this. It's a zip archive. So I'll save this and then uh, go to my terminal window. So here's the zip file I've downloaded. So first I'll un un unzip it. And this is going to create a folder with a whole bunch of files in, in it. So if I look at the contents of the folder, there's a number of PDF files and HTML file. There's also a, another subdirectory which contains a whole bunch of uh, additional PDF files which are hyperlinked to uh, by the copy of the lecture slides that appear here. So if I go through the, the various files, um, this file here is a copy of the lecture slides or a very close copy of the lecture slides that's used in the actual lecture videos themselves. There's some slight differences but mostly they're the same. Um, and I'm just jumping to a, a random arbitrary slide here. There's hyperlinks in these slides and if you click on these links, the, they're, they're marked in green with kind of a squiggly underline. These go to external documents. So this actually goes to an example, for example, which is in the supplement directory that I was just showing you a moment ago. So it's very easy to navigate between uh, examples in the lecture slides and the PDF files that contain them. For example, here's another one here. If I click on it, it takes me to the particular PDF handout. And again, these handouts are all in this directory called Slide Supplemental that we were just looking at a moment ago. Basically, these files here. Um, there's also a few other documents that appear here. There's a README file, which is probably good for you to look at. I won't bother going through that here. Um, there's also a, a a catalog of all the lecture slides that are used in the videos. So if I open up this document, this PDF document here, it goes on for a few pages, but basically for each lecture video, it has a link to the actual full video. And then to each lecture slide that's covered in the videos, there's a time offset link. So for example, if I wanted to go to in lecture two, I wanted to go to the slide that was on recurrence relations, which occurs at the 23 minute and 32 second mark, I can just click on this link here and this will bring me into my web browser on YouTube to the particular point where this is discussed. Anyway, it brings me right to the, uh, the point in the video where that slide's discussed, which is very convenient. So I'll get rid of this. So that's the PDF document. There's also a HTML version as well. So if I uh, run my web browser here, I can view the uh, video lectures.html, uh, which is basically a similar document, but it's formatted in HTML format. You can use whichever one is more convenient for you. Some people might prefer the HTML version. Some people might prefer the PDF, but their contents are the same. It's just the f a matter of the formatting. Again, I can choose a click on a particular link, for example, to go to the recurrence re relation slide and it will take me to it. And hopefully you weren't deafened when I'm playing the, the YouTube video. It seems to have a bit higher volume than probably my microphone does. Anyway, so that kind of gives you an idea about what's in this uh, video lecture information package.